little you can make me you can make me fly. Wait, hang on, you're making me look, fly too much. Does it look weird, real? No. Your <laughs> pit. <laughs> Is that right, Mr. Put him down, down a little bit. I can't see what it looks like. Okay, perfect. One job. Perfect. Oh. Stop. What? I just thought it was perfect. Oh, is it this good? You can see my hands. Good evening. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over Mercy from the game Overwatch, which I haven't really gotten a chance to play it too much to really say like what my favorite character actually is, but as soon as I saw the game was coming out, I was like, I must do Mercy. Also, shout out to my wingman that was holding my wings up in the beginning. Thank you, Tom. Which, this video is actually going to be a collaboration video where I'm going to be painting him as the Reaper. Also, I'm gonna put that in the link in like one of the corners, in the description, in the comments, pretty much everywhere. Let me know in the comments below what other characters you guys wanna see from the game Overwatch, since I think I might make this a series, we shall see. As always, all the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Start off by applying full coverage foundation to give yourself perfect sort of looking skin. And then literally drawing in my eyebrows using a brown eyebrow pencil. Apply eye primer. I'm then applying a light shimmery shade underneath my brow bone on my inner corner and then applying a light brown eyeshadow to my crease. Little bit of Lexorcist. Line your eyes using a cat eye shape. I'm then filling in my lips using a light nude stick color and then also applying some blush. I'm also applying some blush to the tip of my nose because she has a little tiny pink tip on her nose. At the very top of her suit, she has a red outline, so I'm first drawing a red line around my neck, then going ahead and filling in the sides using black body paint and highlighting it using white. Using blue body paint, I'm then filling in the little notches that are on her suit and filling in the rest of my neck black, including in between the little notches. And yes, I know it appears a little patchy on my neck from the way the light is bouncing off on my lighting. I fix it later. You can also apply a white highlight to your neck, that way it looks a little more shiny. For the actual color of her suit, I mixed in white body paint with a smidgen of yellow. Cause not exactly a really bright white, kind of a little smidgen more of an off-white. Taking gray body paints, I'm then going ahead and filling in the detailing on her suit. Using dark gray eyeshadow, I'm then going ahead and adding some dimension to each one of these details. And I'm doing this just by shading the upper side of each line. Using black eyeshadow, I'm then deepening each one. And for the sake of making them stand out a little more, I'm going in with bright white body paint and just outlining the opposite side. I also went ahead and did a little bit of shading on the blue notches as well as used that same white to highlight a lot of areas. She also has little black tabs underneath the design, so I went ahead and added those. For underneath your arm, you can go ahead and paint that bright yellow fading into an orange body paint. Go ahead and add your gold buttons. Outline those using black body paint. Actually outline everything using black body paint. And also go ahead and add some detailing as far as splitting up the suit as well as adding the patches on your shoulders. Make sure you don't forget the black that is underneath her arms on the sides of her suit as well as the patch that is on her arm. Come to Chicago, she said. <laughs> It'll be fun, she said. You can be my wig man, she said. Literally. <laughs> Literally the freaking wind man. <laughs>